was just like a by month, a month here. Yeah. 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 Are you already? Yeah. Hey, I'm <laughs> <laughs> it's and good jeans, like Bokelo would say. And congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Thank and you. we're here at Abigiba. Uh, Adam yep. and Eve. Yep. And these are Brazilians. Unfortunately, I don't think I can do the Brazilian for a while. But you're wearing one? Yes, but then these ones, uh -huh. they're quite delicate. Okay. So I'm thinking after breastfeeding for the six months, then when the milk is gone, you know, and then I'll come for these ones. Okay. Then I'll use it for my son. Okay. Okay, your son, which one is that? Which one is your son? Oh, in my class, I have a No, but how important is it for a woman to you know, look through for a particular size, mm -hmm. you know, time, and you know, handle? You know, it's, it's very, very important. Like, I didn't really know my size. So I'm that type that I'll just go into a lingerie shop and just try what I, I can try on and buy. But when she told me she was about to open Adam and Eve, I was like, no, I need to take advantage and really know my size. Because it's very bad. Sometimes my husband oh sorry, my, my parents would want to buy me something, especially if he sees something and he wants to buy and he goes like I've been outside today. Now I'm stuck. So I realized I really take advantage of this place and just get to know my size. And as for the panties, they know my size. Really. So the panties, they're size. Is yes. For the panties, I you know I have wide waist and hips, so I judge by the the, the, the opening. Yeah, that's what I do. And we we have a good collection here. I think I'll wear this tonight. Tonight, but something happened tonight. Uh, ah, but I think it's going to take after six months. Mr. Metimo, you are you for audience? How much you think I've been saying? Hey, just a month after. Sister, this is <laughs> this is going to. Be I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm not for a I'm going to eat it. Yeah. Okay. So, um, what that I've got to do? Let me ask you. So, like I said, congratulations. Thank you. Now you have two girls. Two girls. Yeah. Hey. So, have we named the new one yet? Um, Imela. Okay. Imela. Mami Boat, Mami Boat. Mami Boat, Mami Boat. Imela. Yes. Yeah. What name is that? Imela. Okay. Like the first time I felt her kick, I had to play. I was playing that song, and I felt a connection to that song. So I was like, I know. I I called my my fiance. I went to the room and I was like, I could see me him say, man to do, but Miss Snow, but that woman, would you allow me to call her Imela? Because what the fuck should we do? Can I give the English name? And I was like, yeah, cool. He's that understanding. So he said, yeah, cool, and he liked the name. So I feel every time I say Imela, every time I call her, I'm indirectly thanking Jesus for what he's done for me. So it's quite. It's a good name for me. Great, um, beautiful. Thank so, you. Um, second time, how did you feel? Because you've had the first experience. Was... There's 11 years gap. Okay. So it wasn't easy. It was just like the first one. And I think the first one I was quite young, so it wasn't really that painful. But with this, it's like I had my first child when I was 20, and I'm having my second one at 31. See the distance. So. It was not easy. I cried. He cried. We all cried. He was with me through the whole process. It was painful. But she's worth it. She's worth it. She's so worth it. She's so worth it. Yeah. How are you getting your body back? I have to. It's a like, No, you know, it's not about. I signed Zalo for media and my boss, if you follow him on social media, you realize he has a mission. In Mikana World, you know, it's serious. And as his child, I need to catch up in Tino. It's a non mission. Like every day he has something he's planning to do and we are all there to support him. So I can't stay at home and be like, oh my way we I need to relax. No. As long as God is good, I have the energy to snap back, I can work. Why not? And yeah. you said that shooting already. Yeah. yeah. The conversation. The conversation, yeah. We just wrapped up. We're about to go on set again for another movie with Kofi Asamoah called that we Okay. Yeah. So has it been since you got Very good. I missed it. Like while the whole time I was pregnant, I was very slow on jobs. And, and you're hiding from the cameras here. I was not hiding, but it's, it's, it's a private season for me. I felt this is something that I had to share with my family and very close friends. Yeah, you knew it. 
you called and I confessed to you. I did confess to a couple of people that I felt I could trust to keep my secret. So I just kept it on the low. So you know, like my my mother-in-law would say, Obanima, there's a reason why God keeps the pregnancy hidden till a certain month when it comes out. Because it's, a, it's, it's a growth, it's a process. God is working. And it's not everyone that will be happy for that blessing. So I just had to protect my blessing because she means a lot to my family. She's a, she's a start to a new beginning. So, yeah. And I, I see there's a ring, you know, there now. And you say, like, yeah, to me, yeah, to them. No, sometimes mm -hmm. you want to tell us that plans are under the way because we know that, you know, Mr. Mr. Watson has been around for a while. Yes, Mr. Watson, he's an, he's an old friend actually. We grew up together, I've known him over 18 years. Yes, so he's that type that, um, let me say, if I had said yes to him, I probably would have had my first childhood. He's been around all these years. He's just been like my best friend. So when the time came and you realized that there's no one out there, but this guy has been there, even though he's not asked you out, you could see that he had a feeling for you. So why don't you just give it a try? So um, we give it a try and yes, um, last year, last two years, December, he gave me my first promise ring and it's been like that so yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I'm sure the boss will be ringing in time soon. Of course. Mm. He should. I'm telling him he should do. He's not proposed <laughs> that one. Mm -hmm. So I'm telling you, I see I'm ready. You can propose. Yeah. Maybe after breastfeeding. He should propose after breastfeeding. Maybe he can do it tonight when I wear this dress. I believe he'd have a happy dress dress for him. Maybe this will do the, the, the trick. I'll wear all the three at a go. I'll wear the first one, take it off. Then I'll wear the second one, take it off. Then I'll wear the third one. Way better trick. He will say yes to this. Yeah. 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 Great to see you again. I can't wait to see the conversation and all the job. You love it. You love it. Just get your tissues. You are wife, so you relate to it. Okay. Conversation, yes, about it's family. about family, side chicks, how marriages suffer through these kind of side chick um, issues, and why men should be faithful to their wives because it's very, very important as a wife when your husband is not It's very damaging, it kills your self confidence and everything. Makes you feel like you are less of a woman. So, it's, it's even though it's comedy, a little bit comedy, it also tells about importance of family and why a man should be faithful to his wife. Great to see you again. Same here, Love you.